Welcome to the SPSS tutorial video on regression and types of regression. In this video we'll be covering simple linear regression, which is a one predictor regression, multiple regression, which means more than one predictor, as well as different types of regression. We'll cover hierarchical regression and discuss statistical regression. The data set we'll be using today is the therapy data set used in previous videos. For this regression video, we'll only be covering continuous variables. Future videos will cover how to code categorical variables in regression. So today we're going to be using our depression at time 2 variable as our outcome. So our predictors will be using optimism, socioeconomic status, and depression at time 1. You can see each of these four variables here are all continuous in nature. The first analysis we'll be doing is a single predictive regression predicting depression at time 2 from optimism click on Analyze, Regression, and Linear. We first select over our dependent variable, which is depression at time 2, and we can include one or more independent variables in this list. For this first analysis, we'll include only optimism. Very rarely with regression do you need to use any of these three boxes below. There are several options within regression to change the alpha level, to change how you handle missing data, as well as statistics where we can ask for our collinearity diagnostics, which will also be discussed in a future video. For now, we will click OK. The first box in the output tells us how many variables or how many predictors we have in our model. In this case, the only predictor is optimism, and it reminds us that our dependent variable is depression at time 2. We first get a model summary, the R-square for the overall model, or the proportion of variance in depression at time 2 that's accounted for by knowing optimism. We get an F-test for the overall model. This is not for an individual predictor, but rather the overall model. You'll see how this changes when we move to multiple regression. Lastly, we get a coefficients table that indicates the significance of the single coefficient optimism. In this case, we get an unstandardized coefficient as well as a standardized coefficient, uh, a t-test, and a significance test for that coefficient. In this case, optimism statistically significantly predicts depression in a negative way. Greater optimism is predictive of lower depression. You can see that the standardized coefficient, the beta, is a correlation metric. In the one predictor regression case, the beta for the predictor is equivalent to the correlation. I'll illustrate this by correlating optimism and depression. Clicking OK. As I pull down, you'll notice that the standardized beta of negative 0.215 is identical to the correlation negative 0.215 between depression and optimism. This is only true in the one predictor case. Next, we'll look at multiple regression, where we'll add additional predictors. We'll go to Analyze, to the same menu, Regression and Linear. We already have selected over our dependent variable, which we'll keep the same. We've already selected Optimism as a predictor, but now let's add additional predictors. Let's add Socioeconomic Status, as well as Depression at Time 1. This is a three predictor regression model, and we'll click OK. As before, we get a table illustrating how many predictor variables we have, depression at time 1, socioeconomic status, and optimism. We get a summary for the overall model, the R-square, or the proportion of variance in depression of time 2 that's accounted for by knowing all three predictors. We get an F-test for the overall model, how well do these three predictors as a whole predict depression at time 2. And the coefficients table down below that examines the significance testing, the t-test, significance levels, for each coefficient independently. In this case, you see that optimism, in the first line here, is no longer statistically significant. Even though it predicted depression at time 2 in a single predictor model, it no longer predicts depression at time 2. Nor does socioeconomic status, but depression at time 1 is a strong predictor of depression at time 2. Now this three predictor regression model was conducted by entering all variables, all independent variables, at the same time. There are other types of regression, however. To examine these, we'll go back to the Analyze 
regression and linear regression menu. One thing I haven't talked about so far is the method choice here. If you select this, you see several different options. Enter, which is used for hierarchical regression, as well as four different types of stepwise or statistical regression. Today, we're only going to talk about hierarchical regression because hierarchical regression is used commonly in psychology uh, and statistical regression is used less frequently. Though, if you want to conduct any of these types of statistical regression, you could choose the method in one of these four options. For now, we'll continue and enter. The way to do a hierarchical regression is to use these separate blocks, which is indicated here. For now, I'll keep optimism at time one, but I will select out depression at time one and socioeconomic status. Now we have optimism entered as our block one of one, and we'll ask for a second block by clicking next. We can now add socioeconomic status into block two, and we can create a third block if we like, clicking next again and adding depression at time one. Now when we see the output, we'll have three steps or hierarchical steps in our regression uh, where one predictor is added in each step. It's not necessary to add one predictor at each time. We could add as many predictors as we like in each step, but in this case we're adding one at a time. When we click OK, we notice in the output that we have three different models, each that adds a new variable. It, the model assumes that each variable added in the previous step is retained in the second. We get unique R squares for each model. We also get unique F tests for each model. And down below, we get the coefficients for the predictors that are included within each model. Model one, of course, includes optimism only. This was the same as our first one predictor regression that we ran. Model two, which adds socioeconomic status, now gives us coefficients with optimism and SES included within the same model. Our third model, of course, includes all three predictors and is identical to the multiple regression model that we ran in the previous example. You can use multiple predictors within multiple steps or all within the same step, and we describe it as multiple regression. Entering them all at the same time is often described as simultaneous regression, but it's often the default when people talk about regression. When you use multiple steps, people typically refer to it as hierarchical regression.